everybody, a good day to you all and a hearty welcome to our let's play of Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Empire in the Great War. Всем привет, дорогие друзья. Меня зовут Сакрец, и давайте поиграем День Победы 4 за Германская империя на Первой мировой войне. Und herzlich willkommen, meine Kameraden von Deutschem Reich, zu unserem Let's Play von Hans Waren 4 im Ersten Weltkrieg aus das große Deutsche Kaiserreich. So, Winston Churchill, have a good comment. We see how we didn't see that. Let's get straight into the game. Laut into our, yeah, das Kaiserreich, the 26th of December 1915. We are, and look, we did capture France in its entirety already. Now Italy, look there, we we encircled the majority of the Italian army. So the game came to a point where we can describe it as well a rather boring. Not boring yet, not yet, but we are closing into that point. But we need more divisions because I can't enact full occupation uh, policy on the territory. I mean I can make it powerful here. For example in Ile de France, Ile de France with minus thirteen percent. I need to do it separately because the AI doesn't do it that well. Yeah fifty five. For example if I'm just gonna assign these twenty troops to the fifty five garrison troops. Let's see how well they are gonna spread out. Here yeah, that's the Italian frontier. Army Group Italian is smashing through the borders. It's just a, our British Invasion Army. I have a good plan. I really spur plan set up already. Yeah. The main Italian armies are encircled here. They can't evacuate because we catch up the port. So they will starve to death at one point. That's exactly what we want. Here, resistant to occupation in Hartum. Well, I don't care because we have no industries there. Therefore, it can stay. Look at that. There, we see oh, lots of divisions right there. That's not good. Let's send our division to border to protect that territory. As well as you. Don't let the enemies break out. Yeah. Do, do they want to do an invasion there or what? From that little uh, French Somali lands. What's that? That's the only province in Africa we, uh, they actually control. Yeah, probably the only British try. Yeah, uh, the Ottoman army will take care of the Latvians. I guess if we just capture Riga, they will collapse already. Yeah, they have no army, so that should be a really, really, but a really easy job, if you ask me. All of the ports are being garrisoned. Yeah, I can't make it more because occupation. And we have 999 army experience already. Yeah, going to war with France with Spain isn't in my interest right now. We have more urgent matters to finish first. Yes, we do. Bulgaria is on our side. That's a good thing. The Bulgarians are with us. We are pushing the Italians here stubbornly. While they are just encircled here, they are fighting for survival. They try to invade us, our coast look clean and superb, that's how it should be. We have nine Austrian divisions here. They're gonna be sent to liquidate this, uh, well, area of resistance here. And then capture Abyssina as well. Central powers control nearly most of Africa except of the Spanish colonies. How the Spaniards feel? <coughs> Probably not that good. Well, the Mexican Republic. We can't stage a coup, we can only stage a coup in. The problem is, here, work could be stage a coup, or it's worth it. Well, in Canada, the authoritarians. Let's do that stage a coup in Canada. Stage a coup. Yeah. Oh no. It's either communist or fascist, but not authoritarian. It's really sad that I can't stage an authoritarian coup. I'd really like to do that. I can stage a communist coup in the US. Now do the communists have a good support actually. No war, unfortunately. 
In Britain? No, not really. In Spain? None. The Spanish Civil War should happen, <laughs> but after 20 years, so that's 22 years, that's a lot of time. Yeah, of course, I'm boss. Don't forget to unpause. Yeah. Let's send one of our divisions into Iaji. Oh, that should be good. Here, I wanna do start new wars. Once the justification done, it's done. Um, okay, 22nd February. Against Denmark, yeah, it's justified against Denmark as well. Oh, we are justifying already. That's great. Against Albania, we are. And as well as against Emirate of Night, we are. And Jabal Shamar, we are as well. So this will be just some new territory to occupy, but so well, not not bad, not bad. Really shape the world in our interest. And Russia is still in the civil war in the, of the wide movement and the Kamintern. I mean the Kamintern lost some wild territory if he would you like to like that, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> Soviet Russia has only four military factories. I mean, they should. Why do they have 87 military uh, civilian ones? That doesn't make any sense. They should build military, not civilian ones. And Ukraine isn't producing any divisions. That's well, I don't know why. But we're gonna power them nevertheless. Our puppets should produce divisions. I mean, we puppet them because they should produce divisions. So that's of course clear, I think, and understandable. Yeah, they are on low supply, minus 33. You're attacking through bad terrain, through a river. I really want to use up my army experience, for example, for my Stoßtruppen. I cannot sell it. Because I lack, well, more artillery. Well, I could add more infantry. I could add more infantry divisions, but that's it. I said one more line here of an infantry battalion, should we? Let's go for it. Alright. Done. Now our army should also get bigger. Yeah, by 300,000 divisions apparently. Okay. That's about that. At least through war there will be an end to this conflict. Yeah, when is our invasion army ready? Uh, for only 40 or 70 days. Well, if it's close to get ready, our following plan. My plan will be I will send all of my navy to Britain. I know they will lose most likely, but uh, but we can have temporary uh, uh, supremacy over the English Channel. When we have that, I will ship across my troops. At least 10 and then also these 65 divisions will be shipped to Britain. And if it goes well, we will invade the United Kingdom and bring them to fall. That's our plan. Yep, that is our plan. The Ottomans. Yeah, ask for control of states. Yeah, let's make the map look that ugly, shall we? You know, this territory they are even saying yes if they are. Yeah. They can keep Kuwait. Where's Kuwait? Oh, Kuwait is there, yeah. And Aden. Yep, they can keep that. They gave it to us, great. That's about it. Okay. German Empire. Well, it's basically German Africa. Africa under German rule. Isn't that great? Oh, it is. <laughs> Oman is airfield. Well, Oman is under our rule. Spray up. Superbly. Actually, to get the Omanese in industry under our control, I can send one more Erzatz Division to Oman. And I can. Manage it and go do it harsh. Oman is gonna harshest. Do they improve? No, it's still acceptable. Great. We have three military factories. Well, it doesn't change that we need sport equipments. Therefore, queue in one more line of sport equipments and produce it. They also really cost more than they do in the base game, so that's the problem as well. They are really expensive because, I mean, they're useful, that's why, I guess. Let's get the equipment to their correct places. Uh, resistant occupation. Ile de France. Really, Ile de France. Why? Get it on the top, fine. And you, uh, we can disable the nail for now. Get here. B 
behind the other sport equipments. I like that for now. Okay. A two behind the other. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. When you have horns. Uh, we even don't have the harsh policy. Fine. We're gonna be sent to eat the fronts then. Then it should be fine. Okay, then minus 13. There I have 0. Here I have minus 5. 0. Here I have way too many. 65 divisions. We must rally behind this course. Yeah, yeah. Let's send them to eat the fronts. Well, for Belgium and the Netherlands, I can do a harsh policy though. To get their industry, Belgium, harshest. Yeah. Because, you know, the industry is important. That's good. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 9, minus 4, and minus 2. That's fine. Well, the battle here is still going on. They really don't want to give up, do they? If they have no supply. Uh, the river crossing is simply horrible. Okay, I wanna... Here. The Austrians can keep pressing, but I wanna call off my divisions here. Here. Take from here, that would be smarter. Here, attack from here, like that. Then, here. These troops as well stop attacking from this position. Oh, we have two provinces here which we have to capture, I just see. But here we can get the pressure up, perhaps. Yeah, there we don't have a river crossing at least. There we see the encircled troops really don't want to give up. Hope you make them give up. Italy is falling under German control as well. Sorry. <laughs> well, so far looking great. We can speed things up, perhaps. And our fleet. Yeah, Airlings with no mission. Uh, Closers for standing by. Yeah, you should stand by. We are bombing southern England. Crumbling the British industry. Well, that's good. You know, the Austrian troops are arriving soon. Then they'll have the Mongolia. Yeah, let's get it It's fairly, fairly. Let's get here the last stronghold in Africa of the Allies or of the Antons. Of the Antons, yeah, not the Allies. Is that Portuguese troops trying? Well, Portugal is saved by Spain. By the Spanish mountains, yeah. <coughs> we can't go through there. Oh, the Austro Hungarian Empire wants to send 33 divisions as expeditionary forces to help us out. Well, I'm gonna accept that. What's that? Alman, are you kidding me? You're not defending your own territory. That's a rather bad joke for me. Let's send, see, where are the Austro-Hungarian expeditionary forces? Here perhaps, yeah. You select all of these, select... Uh, Ostasian. So Af African troops, half of them. Well, we'll go here and just, yeah. Guard Ottoman ports because that's not acceptable. The rest, Balkan I mean, we get a general, general, mm. general von Hutier. Crush the last Italian resistance here. Yeah, there are 40. Wow, how many divisions? Wow, 55 Italian divisions. We are attacking 55 Italian divisions. 55. That will mean. Yeah, the Italian loss toll is currently um, 379,000. Let's see how high it will get. 379,000 it is right now. 379,000. It should just impre improve massively, if you ask me. Fine. Okay. 99. That should be around 200,000 more, so I expect the I Italian toll to be at 600,000. We had 600 by 1,000, you hear correct. 600,000 units, I think, are gonna lose there. Oh, in total. So plus 300,000 more. 
That way. Heavy industry is done. The raid novels get advanced hand tools. There we go. We captured them. Uh, wow, there was 500,000 actually. So now it's 782,000 in total. I just got 135 divisions released there. Look to that. Here. Well, Italian capitulation is just soon, if you ask me. So. Press. Yeah, my mountaineers are useless, so they will uh, garrison the Italian territory. Yeah, well, uh, <coughs> here. You make it again off front. Ost front. Eastern front, yeah, nice spelling. Eastern front. <laughs> no, I spelled it correct. Well, these 16 Austrian troops will go to Hungary. Not Hungary, to uh, Ukraine. Yeah. To uh, push against Kiev. At least 19 to push against Riga and then against Rebel, which would be really easy because they have no units, the enemies. Okay, then. Well, that's a good army, so you'll go uh, what Western Front against Denmark. 24 divisions against Denmark. Against Copenhagen. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know what to do with here. Where are my, my mountaineers? My mountaineers are where? Here, 24 mountaineers. They will get you unassigned, and I will garrison the Italian area with this, but by myself. Oh, let's say one to that port, one to that, one there. And one to Veneto, uh, one to Ancona. Yeah, there are lots of ports in Italy that you see. One Rome, because it's Rome. Anzio, the rest just stand by. There, yeah, stand by. Alright. The Bulgarian troops, I don't know what they can do. I want to use them actively. Hmm. I'm gonna send them to the British frontier. The Austrian expeditionary forces as well. Ten, at least twenty-four on the Marlitz. We sent to the Normandy. So we are preparing an invasion, <coughs> resistance to occupation in Latium. Why? Oh yeah, our troops are coming. Not minus five percent. Great. Yeah. One of the second questions: Latvian sovereignty. Let's do here a doctrine effort. No, let's. Yeah, I want to get the research slot here, so we have to go this path. Unfortunately. Infrastructure. I guess we have to. To do that, uh, we have to do all of these. Do we? Yeah. Well, no worry. Yeah, we can do the dockyard expansion then. Fine. They lost. Yeah, they're losing submarines, so that's fine. Our army is 4.43 million strong. Well, that's considerable. And our justification against Ukraine is finished. Our troops are ready, so let's go and declare war against Ukraine. They are zero division, zero. Well, that's good. Declare war, enemies, heroic shadow. Fine, conquer, call allies. There you go. Sorry, Ukraine, but that has to be. Since they have no <laughs> army, I just have to capture Kiev and then they have Kiev lights. So I have to, I won't probably, I have to go to the eastern territories as well. Because of the victory points. Well, I'll just tell to after the capture of these they should capitulate, I think. Yeah, well, this war should go splendid. Pretty fast as well. We have a war available against Ethiopia and Nate. Where's Nate? 
people here. I have no troops there. So I can use the troops. I need troops down below in Africa. So here B16 will be used. The 17 against Nate. So send him down. And, who, and against whom else? Against Jabosia. Troops are being sent. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Let's capture these, then we are going to declare war against Ethiopia. That's it. The Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire, Ottoman Empire. Justification, conquering Albania is finished. Now the Albanian army is non existent. So we can just march through Albania as well. So, declare war, call allies. No, I'll just call these two uh, capture Tirana and then you'll see that they're capitulated already. That's so easy. What the, the American troops? One, yeah. That should be it. <coughs> yeah, come on, go faster, Ukraine. Bulgaria, sure, I'll accept every help I get. There you see, Albania has capitulated already. And there we got Albania under our control. Haha. <laughs> That's it. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, the Austrians have Veneto. Well, let's ask them if they want to give Veneto. Will they? They will actually. Oh, thank you, Austria. What a vital industry I got. Nice. We will war go against uh, Latvia. Of course, against Latvia. Well, you're gonna be surprised how uh, fast the war will finish. Just have to ri march into Latvia and these provinces. And it should be done already. Because, I mean, historically they should be our puppets. But here they are not, unfortunately. So, <coughs> we're gonna fix it. <coughs> Central Paris. Persia. The Persian army is also non-existent with few divisions. Yeah, let's get Persia under our control. So, look to the king. <laughs> nice king they have. There we go, Lovely has capitulated. So we're gonna, yeah, just fight against Persia as well. There we go. Well, Latvia, what's happened to you? Yeah, go on. I'm gonna make the harshest occupation rule as well to get the maximum industrial control. Harshest. 1.76. We have 420 factories in total, but we are mainly busy repairing uh, our factories and our infrastructure, if you see here. Yeah, mainly busy repairing these. The Abyssinian army is how strong? Um, two divisions. Oh, Italy is capitulated, so a massive wave of capitulations uh, we just saw. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna tell this just to ready themselves all across Ethiopia. The goal to push against Addis Ababa. Declare war, called allies. We're attacking, let's see what goes. The Anton like that, yeah. Alright, Wargal available against uh, Jabba Shamar. Well, Jabba Shamar should capitulate after they capture the capital. Let's send our troops to there and capture Jabba Shamar and then go for the Emirate of Knights. We are gonna give these uh, territories to Ottoman rule, I think. Should be? Yeah. Let's do that. I mean, the Ottomans, I mean, they deserve Egypt as well, don't they? Yeah, no? 
Yeah. There are only two factories, so I'm gonna give the Ottomans Egypt as well, perhaps. Just so the map looks better, but let's build military factories now. Yeah, we can build here. Yeah. Maximize, maximize our military sector out in our territory. Divisions, that's push against. Yeah, just push. I'll bring this planet drop. Three dockyards, four free dockyards. What should they do? Yeah, produce, uh, let's say. <coughs> um, uh, a protected cruiser. Yeah. Use that in this week in Kiel, yeah. Naval battle, cross V1. A way of war girl yeah, against these two countries. Against Jamar Shamar. Okay, let's go declare war, call allies, yeah. Or execute. I joined the Antont, yeah, they should be done for really soon. I'm gonna send these just to help out. I really don't think that they'll need help, but still, let's give them. And read port strike. <coughs> yeah, the Chinese really can't capture us here. It's well to fortify it. Well to fortify it. Um, okay. So Asia is mainly still under the control of the Antont. That's the problem. And I don't know, the Civil War in Russia was there looking. Saritsyn. Flat force, yeah, the capital is although up there, Ramanov Namurmia. Romanov, Ramanov Namurmia. Interesting. With them, I wanna capture here Sicily. Well, we are losing Palermo, unfortunately. It's at 81 our American ships, yeah, submarines probably. Fighting against poor. There we go, Abyssinia is capitulated. Poor Abyssinia. Let's make a harsh rule for the Abyssinian industry as well. Harsh, there we go. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them just to stay here. To garrison the ports because, yeah, they're useless anyways. be fine then. Like that, okay, great. When can I enable invite them? Soon, soon. Uh, okay, we can start the naval invasion. So the naval invasion of Britain will be started in the next round. Let's get weapons, better weapons. You woggle away against Estonia and Nate. I'm gonna encircle them right there. Get these divisions there. Okay, make it faster. Great, great. Well, I will take a break here. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a nice day to you all.